Hello everyone, welcome to another video Node Express MongoDB. In this video, I will talk about a very important topic which is uploading images while creating a new node. So we will be associating an image whenever node is created along with adding the title description and all the properties. We will be associating an image path to it and store those images in our project directory. So I'll be creating a new folder inside the public and inside the public I can create a folder uh, like images and the data and that will be created dynamically when I'll set up our project. Okay. So first of all, I will have to create a new property in this model. Then I'll be creating a new route over here for uploading an image. I can directly handle and create the existing APIs as well, but I don't want to disturb uh, the uh, uh, already created APIs because for learning purpose, I want to keep other APIs for reference in my controller. Okay. So before actually moving further, just want to let you know that if you want to learn advanced level of postman configuration, setting up environment variables, dynamic headers and writing code directly in uh, postman, this is a must watch video. If you want to test your APIs and create the documentation, go check out this video and watch this video completely because this is a great video at which I've created after a lot of research and effort. And from my experience, go check out my playlist tech tutorials random and you will learn a lot from this video. All right. So let's come back. And first of all, in my note model, I'll be creating a new property over here. So the property I can give is the path of the image. Currently our path of the image will be our local directory. Uh, we can have the path of image to any cloud service as well. But in this video, I will talk about storing the image in our local directory in the public folder. Okay. So below this user, I will be creating a path to an image. So I can name it image path here. So image path and then I can give it a string since it will be a path. So I'll be giving the string. So let's save this file. I'm going to go to the notes routes and the package that I'll be using for uploading an image is the Multer. This is an awesome package and let's try to install it. So it's called the Multer. So I'll hit enter. It's installing. So let's try to import it. I've already imported that over here. Try to import this path package as well, which is built in in node. You don't need to install it. So import this multer package as well. So now we need to add a configuration over here as well. There is some advanced level configuration, but just to starting from the beginning level, uh, I'll, I'll write a one line of code for the configuration for now. Um, but in the end of this video, I will uh, modify this configuration. So first of all, I can create const upload equals to multer. And here I can actually pass the destination and I will be writing the path dot join actually for this level of configuration. I don't need this path. I'll just remove it. And here destination, I will write the public. This folder is already created inside it. I can create a new folder, which is uploads. And then I can create a new folder, which is called images. I can have any number of folders over here. Okay. And this is the only configuration we have to do in this particular file for now. Okay. After that, let's try to create one function over here and that will handle uploading images along with creating a new node. So I'll be writing exports dot and uh, I will name this function create note with image. Okay. And async request response and this. All right. So for now, let's try to copy this whole stuff and paste it over here. I will not be writing any of this right now. So let's try to send the empty data over here. Okay. So this is enough configuration. This is the function. Now let's go to our routes and create a new route and add this controller against that route. So inside our notes route, I'll be creating a new route. So notes router dot route. And uh, in the postman, I've already created one API, which is the post request. And inside it, I will be naming it upload image. So I'll just copy it upload image and I will be pasting over here. So it has been pasted after this. I will pass the get request and I will make it protect because I want uh, users to create notes after they are logged in. And then I will be 
importing that function so create note with image and i'll just copy this name and i'll paste over here okay so this has been created and one more thing that i need to do is since i have created this multer object and it has returned me uh, a middleware over here this is actually a middleware if it is a middleware that means that i can actually pass the middleware over here just like i've added the protect data just like i have added this custom made access delete admin which i created in one of the last videos so i can just copy this upload and I can add the middleware over here after the protect data. So upload dot single. Single means that we will only be allowing it a single image. Okay. So let's add a comma. And this is the uh, middleware that I have added. All right. So let's go to controller for now. I just want to show you how we can test our image uploading through postman uh, let's try to log the data so when we try to send the data uh, from the postman or the client side in the form tags in html uh, we receive the data in request.body okay uh, let's not uh, print the form data here because that is not an object or a string uh, it's just the form data we need to parse that first so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to name it JSON data and this will contain the title description priority and the user ID uh, in this particular field. So let's try to save it and I'm going to run the project npm run start colon dev and uh, let's try to pass the image as well as this JSON data from our client side. If you are using any front end application like JavaScript that includes uh, HTML, you can create a form with a form tag or an element, and then you can add some post request to it and an action, and then add the type of that form to the form data, okay? So uh, here I'll be using the postman. So I've already created this API of type posts and after doing this what we have been doing previously that when we select our body we click on the raw and then the json uh, but it will not allow us to create an image as well okay uh, we need to pass an image as well as the rest of data which is the title description um, and stuff like that so we need to click on the form data and here we can create multiple keys i have created this image and this json data and after giving it a key we can name anything to it uh, but it should be like uh, the, that middleware string that we added uh, in our route file after doing this it will show us a drop down and from here i can select a text or a file select the file and after this we can select the images so let's select an image over here let's try to select python and after this json data i can actually select uh, something uh, like text from here and in the text I can pass this JSON data over here and you can see that uh, we don't need to pass the user because that will be fetched from the logged in user auth token uh, and uh, title description let's try to change its name so that we don't get any duplication error so I'm going to save it let's try to send it now page not found so let's see what's wrong and i'm gonna go over here and uh, it's actually a get here i need to have a post request right let's save it now and let's try to print the data the json data which i'm passing from that postman the client over here okay so let's go to postman and here i'm just going to click the send button again and I think it has actually detected that route success and data and this is what I expected and here you can see that it has actually printed this JSON data and this is what I want and if I only print request at body it will also show us that uh, uh, that image data which I have passed over here but uh, there are some ways we can actually pass the image data let's do that in this controller so here I'm going to first fetch that I title description and the priority so I'm going to go and I'm going to copy these two lines which I have created above. Let's try to copy here. So title description property is coming from request.body and uh, here uh, it should not be a request.body only because it contains the image as well. So I can actually write the JSON data 
and it should be parsed as well because we are parsing it as a form data we need to parse it with json dot parse function okay and now it will return me title description and the priority next i'm fetching the logged in user id and next i'm going to fetch that image so image will be received in the request dot file object so i can actually uh, i was wrong Pre previously it will not be received in the body but it will be actually received in the image path equals to request dot file and uh, I can actually check if the request.file exists and I can write the request.file.path and the colon and then the null. Okay, uh, this is just for uh, validation. And next, I'm going to create a new object for a new node. So I'm just going to copy this object which I've created in the previous video. Uh, and here you can see I've created this new node and the node equals to create and along with passing this user id i can pass the image path over here since the name is same i don't need to pass it and after this i can pass this new node over here so node equals to new node all right so this is pretty much it we need to do over here error in creating a new node with image all right so here you can see that since I uh, this API got hit over here and this middleware got executed as well and when this got executed you can see in our directory structure it has created this uploads and the images uh, file and here you can see that it has created this file which I'll be modifying that it is actually an image which is stored already in our local directory structure of our project and this is what I gave over here in my configuration and I'll be modifying it to make it look nicer so but let's try to check the controller whether the uh, that is created or not so I've already selected this now let's try to send it again uh, let's try to modify it so we don't get any duplication error let's try to send and creating a node json.parse is not a function there is a spelling mistake I've just seen let's go to the controller and uh, this is the parse it is the parse actually with s letter okay so let's go and let's go to pass this now let's send uh, it's taking some time because the db connection is getting initialized and uh, it should be creating a new node along with the image path and now you can see this is awesome and it has actually shown us this public slash uploads slash images and the name of that file this is awesome and the only thing we have to do now is we modify the configuration of multer and it should actually create the jpeg or a png file with a meaningful name over here so that if we click on it we can directly see the image over here and you can see that VS code uh, is show the images as well so we only need to go to the notes routes as well now let's try to comment this line and add few configuration in here so first of all we will be using a variable which is we can call it storage and then multer dot and it gives us a function disk storage and disk storage have uh, an object and that object uh, also expect us to pass two properties which is destination and the file name so I'll come here and in this object I'll be creating a destination okay I don't need to use the path as this moment and uh, this will be against the function and uh, next is the callback and uh, here I can use that callback with the next and first I can pass the null and then the path of the image which I want it to be stored so I'll be using the same path uploads slash images all right and the next function that I'll be passing to it is the file name I can modify the file name so request uh, I can name it the file and then the callback function which is the next okay so inside it I can create a few properties so unique suffix 
equals to date dot now this is just to uh, show that uh, at this time this was actually created the image uploaded at this time so i'm i'll be concatenating this date with an image name so date dot now and then i can write an extension for the image so uh, for an extension i'll be using the path dot ext name and then the file dot original name okay and now let's try to create a file name now so file name equals to file dot field name plus let's try to separate it with a hash okay and then the unique suffix which is the date plus extension okay so it will be the name of file which we have uploaded and uh, then the date and then the extension okay so now let's try to use that callback function and uh, it should be the null and the file name and uh, since we added this upload i can use this storage variable below so here i can uncomment let's try to remove it and here i can write the storage and that's it all right so let's try to save it now and let's try to hit that api from the postman and see if our, if our image is successfully added over here or not okay so let's go to the postman and in here i'm going to send again let's try to change the name of the node with the 12 and send and this new node have been created with the image path and you can see the image path here which is the image and then dash and then the date and then dot png and here you can see that this image have been uploaded successfully awesome so this was pretty much it for this video i hope that you have liked it and uh, make sure it is it is actually almost completed my tutorial series in the next video i'll talk about uh, deploying over next node express mongodb project so uh, since i'm finishing it i have put a lot of effort creating this tutorial series for node express mongodb latest variants i think i deserve to be subscribed and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video thank you so much for watching